Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. What Mike Pence just did makes Mila Kunis immediately regret abortion donation in his name. A few days ago, actress Mila Kunis donated to the Planned Parenthood in Mike Pence's name. Soon afterward, her donation backfired spectacularly. Shortly after Kunis' donation was made public, a pro-life group began soliciting donations for their own cause in Mike Pence's name. When Mike Pence found out about this plan to counter donations to the Planned Parenthood, he got on board, retweeting the link and adding his approval. Neither tweet referenced Kuna's actions, rendering her initial peaceful protest irrelevant. Meanwhile, money will now be flowing to organizations tasked with ending abortion. So Mila Kunis didn't get what she wanted. In the end, the biggest winner here was Mike Pence and the pro-life cause. He kept it classy and they're getting the money. Comment Go Pence. And share if you love how RVP stands for his morals with class. While celebrities try to tear him down, he's trying to lift up causes that are close to his heart. Donna Brazile just made an accusation against Obama that's way worse than Hillary's DNC rigging. Donna Brazile's new book, Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that put Donald Trump in the White House, already uncovered shocking accusations of primary rigging at the hand of Hillary Clinton. Now she's making a second accusation against Barack Obama. The Daily Caller received a copy of the book and published the following excerpt. We had three Democratic parties, the party of Barack Obama, the party of Hillary Clinton, and this week little vestige of a party led by, Florida Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, that was doing a very poor job getting people who were not president elected. Prozile then explained how the party of Barack Obama absolutely ruined the Democrat party and left it for dead, essentially causing the rigging in the first place. Advertisement Obama used the party to provide for political expenses like gifts to donors, and political travel, Brazile explains. Meanwhile, Obama never, saw, himself as connected to the party. He raised plenty of money for his own campaign but never gave back to the DNC. This was not working to strengthen the party, she said. He left it in debt. That did is what forced the party to turn to the Clintons, they needed the Clintons' cash. In return, the Clinton campaign demanded outsized control of the organization that allowed them to rig the primary against Bernie Sanders. So, yes, the primary was rigged, and the reason it was rigged was because of Barack Obama's egocentric selfishness. He left the party dead broke because he was so focused on himself that he used the party's money but only raised funds for himself. He's just as crooked as the woman he chose to succeed him. Comment Crooked Obama and share if you think the entire Democrat machine is corrupt. While the media is focused on fake Russia scandals, real scandals are being uncovered in the DNC. Roger Godel struck dumbi oficial Monday night football rating stats pel dom for NFLs future. Roger Godel is not having a good year. First he let the NFL and then protests get out of control. He literally let the imates run the asylum and the owners are furious. Then the owners refused to extend his contract until he figured a way out of the mess. Some, like Jerry Jones, gave Roger de Asivaito save his job and the lag left from ruin, make a new rule that out loud player stacking Gagner. This is not a civil rig this way for the NFL penalizes players for nearly everything. They have a rule that govern a very small act you and that you can and they can asylum make on a more. And until they do this is going to keep happening. According to Breitbart the Monday night football ratings are in anti-spell dome for Rogers' future video lagwe.
News Hold Have signed your contract extension before ca epernic crine de leagă, Roger. IT stolate nov. Munda is pachier zand lions game gota 7.6. This bats last year's week now on the eve of the election he known in the country care da bout the NFL. Last year was the love strated week now in history and this year just bat IT. Vhata de battle. The story was later correct to reflect a not game in 2007, but IT is still la de battle. Eiter IT is the second love strated week now game in history or IT is the lovest. Toca băut vă bad chuices for the NFL. Terei s-a sligat silver lining to the story. This week's game is actual up 6 points from last week's game. But as last week's game was no ratings bonanza it is not really so meeting for godel to be proud of. No, Roger has a simple chuice to make. Dor number one s-a vezi his job and of hole leagă. Dor number two leads to win for bot. Ho o să vise lui Roger, eu are un ning out of time. A liberal writer just mocked Trent Paul's assault in the most disgusting article of the century. A liberal outlet reportedly mocked Trent Paul for the injuries he sustained following his assault on Friday, according to BizPack Review. The article suggested that based on the severity of Paul's injuries versus the size of his attacker, he must have weak bones. Splinter, the liberal publication that printed the article, suggested Paul isn't drinking enough milk. Check it out. You get old and stop drinking milk and next thing you know every time a medium-sized neighbor tackles you all your ribs are snapping like the buttons on tearaway pants. The writer, Hamilton Nolan, continued. Meanwhile if you had stayed on your milk game, you would have not only had brawny bones but muscles as well, thanks to the protein packed into every serving of milk. And then, he ended his article with a suggestion that Paul drink milk until he's dead. The important thing is you keep downing glass after glass of that frosty creamy calcium treat. Don't stop until you're dead. Drink that milk rand Paul. This is not a game out here. Senator Paul suffered five broken ribs and bruised lungs after a disgruntled neighbor blindsided him while he was mowing his lawn at his home in Bowling Green, Kentucky. His attacker, 59-year-old Renee Boucher, is apparently known throughout the neighborhood for starting confrontations with neighbors and for his strong liberal views. Boucher is currently facing fourth-degree assault charges. Share Parties over, shocking new poll reveals the end for Dems and proves America follows Trump. You can only hide the truth for so long. You can dress it up, disguise it, or even manipulate the content completely, but eventually people find their way to the facts. Even in the absence of evidence, Americans have a keen intuition when it comes to deception, and the left's classic tricks have now grown painfully stale. According to a poll released Tuesday, the Democratic Party has dropped to the lowest approval rating in more than 25 years of polling. The report shows over 54% of Americans are furious with the Dems, matching the lowest numbers from polls by CNN-ORC and CNN-USA Today, Gallup dating back to 1992. In addition, only 37% of Americans view the Democratic Party favorably. This includes non-whites who only gave a 48% positive rating, and people under 35, who gave an even lower rating of 33%. This is crippling news for the DNC, who rely heavily on both these constituent groups. The numbers only add to former interim Democratic National Committee Chairwoman Donna Brazile's reasons for blaming the party's financial problems on former President Barack Obama. Brazile also wrote in a Thursday column on Politico that Obama wasn't alone pointing the finger at Dem Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Brazil lambasted the two for forfeiting complete control of the party to Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign over a year before Clinton had even secured the nomination. If the fight had been fair, one campaign would not have control of the party before the voters had decided which one they wanted to lead, Brazil wrote Thursday. 
This was not a criminal act, but as I saw it, it compromised the party's integrity. This kind of betrayal and infighting is exactly why the Dems are done for. While President Trump maintains his mission for safety and success, the swamp is fighting over who will sink first. When you have a leader who inspires faith and courage, it becomes much easier to do the right thing. Americans did exactly that with these incredible poll results. If citizens continue to band together for the greater good, President Trump will have everything he needs to succeed. If you're proud to be an American today, share this incredible victory with the world. Sources, DailyCaller.com Share Jesse Jackson's fall from grace complete as shocking sex assault claim brings him to his knees. Jesse Jackson is the next liberal icon to get exposed and have his reputation ruined. And after years of shaking down people he deserves it. According to the New York Post, Danielle Young, a journalist at The Root, just came forward with shocking allegations that Jesse Jackson sexually assaulted her. She wrote a lengthy piece about the incident where she goes into detail about the disgusting behavior of Reverend Jackson. She writes, I walked toward Jackson, smiling, and he smiled back at me. His eyes scanned my entire body. All of a sudden, I felt naked in my sweater and jeans. As I walked within arm's reach of him, Jackson reached out a hand and grabbed my thigh, saying, I like all of that right there, and gave my thigh a tight squeeze. What a pig! Harvey Weinstein, Bill Clinton, and Jesse Jackson all big supporters of women and Hillary. What a big joke the whole lot of them are. Total hypocrites. She continues making Jesse's fall from grace complete. When I was finally able to pull myself away from the Reverend Jackson's grip, I was deflated. I admired this man who marched alongside the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., a man who represented our ability to overcome a man who is really, just a man. She goes on to say Jesse victimized other women relating a story a co-worker told her. I remember him being inappropriate with all the women. And I also remember you telling me that he did something more with you. And then we brushed the ST off and chalked it up to him just being a dirty old man. Wow what a pig, share if you agree. Share.